Hey guys, Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, today I have a very special video. As right out of the box right now, um, we have a bunch of new stuff just in line for you. And of course, today I have the Samsung Galaxy um, S8. The S9 is now out. But in terms of the Galaxy S8 users and the S8 Plus, in case you were waiting for the major update, the latest update is out for the device and of course that is Android 8.0 um, Oreo alright so we have Android Oreo out now for the um, S8 so this video will be looking at Android Oreo on the Galaxy S8 S8 Plus and what new features it brings before the device was running um, Android um, 7.0 which was Nougat and now we're up to Oreo alright so let's look at the changes alright so straight away this is the um, home screen I'm just gonna unlock of course you'll notice the main screen right here one of the first things i've noticed is sharper icon and sharper text if you can look very closely at these icons you'll notice for example the um, gallery icon is now um, changed it also has a sharper um, color scheme and you can notice the fonts likewise we have yahoo mail there and so on that has changed i think whatsapp is the same Zedge applications and a few other applications have changed. What I'll do is I'll show you the application tray. If you go down to the application tray, you'll notice a bunch of icons here. I'm just going to start from over here so you can actually pause and just look at to see if you see any changes. All right, but I've noticed quite a few of these icons have gotten um, sharper um, text and so on, as I just pointed out. Right, which is quite um, cool now some of the new features you'll notice for example I have noticed that in the notification tray if I were to slide down I noticed that the at, um, icons up here have changed a bit too you'll notice their placement and style so I'm just gonna swipe over you'll notice a bunch of them right there and of course if I show you the menu up here and of course if I go into um, button order and of course you'll notice um, stuff like nearby voice wake up and a bunch of icons there so i don't know if you see anything new there but one of the coolest things i've noticed as of lately guys is the way notifications now work if you remember before whenever you had a notification for example if for example i have um, a twitter notification here and you notice that the number of the notification badge indicates that um in twitter i have 44 um, messages or 44 new um messages all right so what I've noticed too now is that a new feature that's added is that, of course, if I go back to the main screen, and of course, if I um, swipe down, I'm going to notice that the notifications are all shown here. If I clear from here, it will also clear the badges that you saw a while ago, which is new, all right, which is quite exciting. And of course, another thing you can actually do is if you enable it, you can actually long press. And of course, you can see here that along with the quick shortcuts you also get this new feature here that you'd have to turn on that actually shows you what the notification is i could also swipe from here to actually clear which is a cool new um feature all right if i also go into settings you'll find a number of new um settings all right so let's go into settings so for example when i go into settings here you'll notice this new um user profile here if i hit on this i'll actually get um the user information which is my user information which is link to my um, Samsung account which I can sign into or I'm already signing I can see a bunch of information most of these um, interface actually looks the same but you'd have to actually go into menus to actually see what the changes are for example if I were to go into notification I notice this is um, new and this is also on the S9 as well you'll notice that there's a new feature here called um, app icon badges which allows you to actually go into settings and of course you can uh, mess around such as um, show the number or you can actually just show the icon alone to show that there are new notifications but for me i like to see the number and of course i just showed you a while ago the comparison showing you that you can actually see it in the notification area as well you can also show notifications meaning when you long press but by default the option is off but of course i like it on so where i can long press i have about three different options to actually look at my notification long press swipe down and i can actually clear or just clear the badge which is a new improvement showing you um, what you can actually do right there are also other improvements such as all right so if i go into settings and i go into um, advanced features and of course if i look around here i'll see an option or i uh, should see some new options they're scattered about most things are basically the same all right if i scroll along i see dual messenger and of course this is a new feature that allows me to run multiple instances of an app 
For example, I can have um, only select apps such as WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, and Messenger. So, for example, if I were to turn on um, WhatsApp, I could have two separate WhatsApp accounts. The new one would actually have a special icon. What I can actually do is to, if um, I actually can set up two accounts, providing that I have two separate numbers, of course, and I can activate two instances of WhatsApp on the same device or multiple instances, same for Facebook, Snapchat, and Messenger. So, as you can see there, you can actually check that out as well. All right. So some other cool things that we have um, noticed as well. Going back to the update itself, if you notice here, um, when we actually um, got the update, you'll notice that you get um, the Samsung Experience 9.0 upgrade with um, the Android 8.0 or Oreo. All right. But um, this um, was available as of the first of this month, which is March. All right. And of course, some people might get it days later, such as some people might get it on the first, second, third, or fourth. Um, I was out for a while, so I got it a little bit late, but it's better to be late than never, right? So as you can see, it's 1378.50 gigabyte, sorry, megabyte, which means that um, it's just over a gig, which is a very large um, update. So you'll need a very fast internet um, speed to actually um, download this. And of course, you can see all the features that I mentioned here. But of course, you have this video, so it should save you the time of going through and figuring out what most of the new changes are. Um, some other personal things that I have noticed that have changed with the update, guys. I'll just show you right here. If you were to go into um, Gallery, all right, as you can see here in Gallery, um, there are a bunch of new icons down here. And of course, if you go into the settings menu up here, you'll notice the new details and so on. Things have changed around a bit. You can set wallpaper and all of that. But of course, the most um, major change in here is the apps down here, the icons that allow you to control your um, pictures. All right, so I'm just gonna exit here as well. All right, so other changes I've noticed if you go into settings and apps, of course, if you know in here, um, this is usually um, the same. But of course, if I go into an app, and of course, if I go down to storage down here, I've noticed that where you see the um, option to clear data and clear cache, things tend to have moved around. But of course, you see the details now is given down here. And they have changed um, things around a bit, storage location and so on and all that. So I don't know if you have seen any changes here. So this actually looks um, quite new and refresh to me. Also, guys, um, if you go into um, settings, we go down here and we go to um, about um, phone you'll notice that the device information in here has changed as you can see the layout it shows you the galaxy s8 it shows you a bunch of new things but of course the overall um, change as um, things have changed up a bit but as you can see guys according to the official information here it's really um samsung experience 9.0 and of course android oreo and if i click on the um look at the bill number here you can actually play around and see the new anime All right so i'm just gonna hit on the version and as you can see here guys it's actually android oreo so you can actually see that it's actually updated and we're actually running the official version um, of oreo and of course this is the new or the latest icon all right other improvements include the samsung keyboard which you might notice right here so for example you'll notice that this is not the typical um, samsung keyboard so let me just show you the new improvements um, for example, most of the icons are moved from the lower section to the upper section here. For example, you have um, the usual um, emoji, um, emojis and um, icons that's seen here, various emojis. All right, so those have been uh, moved around. And of course, this one is new. If you tap here, you'll notice we have cool stickers right here. And there's a variety of stickers. All right, so I'm just going to show you a few of them. You can actually sit, um, select around here. You can actually look at the clipboard and what's um, copied to the clipboard um, in the past. You can actually record or you can go into settings and customize. And of course, you can do a number of things. And of course, you can also switch back to the regular um, keyboard. So this is the, of course, Samsung's new and improved um, keyboard. It is one of the big changes since. All right. Another thing I've noticed I've changed, if you do the slide out of the panel at the side here, you'll notice right away that the transparency effect, uh, so the overall feel of the icons and so on of the most used icons have changed, or the edge panels I should say. And of course you can see the various um, tools if you have added any of them. And of course there's my compass, and of course there's the usual tools. So you see that those are there, but they have um, been given visual improvements and of course there might be quick notes such as for example using the um, tool here which is the rectangular tool for um, snapping screenshots there's a bunch of new disclaimers and so on which weren't there before but of course this is because Samsung has taken the latest tips and so on from its users to actually 
uh, incorporate this and so on and they have updated their policies all right if you go into the always on display you'll notice um the various um clock faces as you can see here there's a bunch of them and of course there are new clock faces that have been added or various improvements to the regular clock face so you can actually go through and select the bunch of new ones or the modified ones and of course there's the old ones as well as you can see there's a whole bunch you can actually go into and download all right so and there's a bunch of small and major improvements otherwise but of course i've covered all the main ones and of course if you have any direct questions about the improvements you can also ask below in the comments because of course they are um, too numerous as i mentioned so guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and of course you can ask your questions below this is ricardo from blog tech tips saying bye until next time guys bye